schouwkul. It's a, a Dutch military term that refers to a hidden trench. It was called that because the mouth of the river as it comes into the Delaware is swampy. You can't really see where it comes in. So it is a hidden entry. And the waterworks itself was a fantastic new um, idea. And the celebration of that with bringing uh, uh, sculptures that were created by a world-renowned sculptor by Benjamin Rush and uh, decorating it, making it beautiful, a place to visit and to meander, walk along the terraces, attracted more people than Niagara Falls in its time to visit. It was the most photographed uh, icon in the United States for many years. Uh, so it became a beginning of an educational moment as well because you, it was a beginning of understanding that we needed to, to think about how and where our water was coming from for its use. Industrial practice at the time was to throw your waste in the water. That was true in cities as well, just throw your garbage outside. Um, there wasn't the understanding that there is no real trash. Trash has to go somewhere and it affects all of us. Thomas Aiken's famous images of the scullers on the river, which we still see today, are quite lovely. They were rowing on uh, a bathtub of complete filth. Uh, not something I would recommend, or it, you know, it smelled, it was uh, dirty, you'd look straight down into the water and you'd see sewage. Aiken's was giving us a picturesque version of the water. We should have a river that we could walk along, that we could stroll along its sides, uh, that we could swim in, that we could appreciate for its beauty. What should this river be for us? It's not quite as clean as we might like it, but we have an extraordinary water department that has uh, brought our river light years ahead, uh, not only in terms of its use, its accessibility and recreation, but in terms of the water quality. I think education is very important. I think understanding the waterways, the ecology of the waterways and our waters is a good starting point. It's going to be here a lot longer than we are. <laughs> so there's a bit of awe and respect that I would, would suggest, but at the same time to take walks, listen to the sound of the water as it changes uh, as you move through the city, to explore a different part. I firmly believe, as a great enthusiast for both Leah Stein Dance Company and the Mendelssohn Club, that understanding different interpretations, to understand lenses through which we can see the water and the waterworks, gives us all an opportunity to expand our visual vocabulary. In this case, we have a piece that's not just extemporaneous or impromptu. You have a piece where there's some beautiful development of uh, a creative thinking. What a wonderful celebration for a birthday.